Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So today I just want to run a short clip from a live stream I did last night, December 15th, 2022, where Grandstream announced their new Switch lineup. In this live stream clip, I just took their 30 to 40 minute announcement and just covered the highlights in about three to four minutes. So if you think you're interested in seeing this, then stick around. I simply just grabbed a couple of screenshots from that 40 minute presentation and I could pretty much um, bring it down to like two minutes of <laughs> just highlights of what they did. So I, I thought it would be just worth noting, um, been waiting for this. They actually, I think, released these switches uh, within the last week or two, but they actually did the public uh, YouTube quote release, official release today. And uh, they, they're calling them the GW and 7800 series. They're managed network switches. They're layer two plus switches, not layer two, not layer three, layer two plus. And they have uh, three flavors. You can see they have an eight port, a 16 port and a 24 port. What I'm really excited about these is it finally gives us a chance to build a full networking stack of all grand stream from the router to the switch to the APs. So that's a complete solution right there. I've already asked <laughs> Brian weeks ago um, to put me on the list. I don't even care if they send me the smallest one, but I do want to be able to do a video on doing a complete grand stream stack. Uh, of course, I haven't heard back from Brian. I know he's a busy guy, but um, so here you have taking a look at, like I said, I just stole these or captured these screenshots. You see, they call them layer two plus managed network switches. They have the 7801 and in parentheses, you see the P, the 7802 and the P in parentheses, the 7803 with the P in parentheses. So they have basically six models. They have a non POE version of each flavor and a POE version of each flavor. They come with eight, 16 or 24 gigabit ports, two or four gigabit SFP ports. So the eight port switch has two gigabit SFP ports and they all have a console port as well. Um, the two largest switches come with the four gigabit SFP ports. I know not SFP plus, uh, but I'm gonna talk about that, not that per se in a second, but we'll refer to that uh, in the next slide or two. Now it says that they're managed via the embedded controller, but the embedded controller, what they're referring to there, there is its own web user interface. So you can log into the switch itself through the web GUI. It's also, it could be managed with GWN cloud or GWN manager, which is their Linux desktop um, management software. At this point in time, it, it can't be managed by one of the other devices. Based on what I heard today, they didn't basically say, no, it can't, but the way they explained it, the management options. So typically with, with this device here, so with, with this device here, it's got its own built-in embedded controller. It can control up to 15, and this is the router. This is the GWN7062. This can control up to 50 other um, Grandstream access points. The access points themselves also have an embedded controller that can control up to, most of them, this one for say, can control up to 50 as well. However, this new switch line can't be like, if I have this one set up and I have this one paired and managed by this one's controller, I can't add the switch to this one's controller. So I hope they, change that in an upcoming firmware release. But uh, if I wanted to be able to manage everything, I can just use GWN Cloud. It has built-in QoS and advanced LAN and it supports IP4 and IP version six. Just taking a closer look, um, again, eight, 16, 24 ports. The SFP ports are not shared. They're um, dedicated. so. You know, don't have to worry about, well, if you use an SFP port, you can't use one of the ethernet ports, that kind of thing. 
You can see the A port has 20 gig gigabits per second switching capacity. It's a desktop mount. It's not switch, um, rack mount. And they didn't say anything about having um, a rack mount adapter. You can see it's got 120 watts of max PoE power. Then you got the 16 port 40 gigabits per second switching desktop and rack mount. Um, 240 watts max power. Integrated fan. The A port is fanless. The 24 port, uh, again, 20, 360 watts, max PoE power and integrated fan. Now, the nice thing too is it has dynamic um, PoE allocation, so it will dynamically assign a port PoE as needed up to 30 watts per port, which is really cool. And then Grandstream's basically suggesting here are their use cases, right? Enterprise, small to medium business, hotels, schools, universities, healthcare, call centers. Um, that's where they see these switches um, being put into production. And then finally, they gave us a couple of sneak peeks of what's to come. So I thought these couple of these things were really cool. Um, they don't have them yet, but in they said in January, they will be releasing a GHP series of hotel model phones. Then they are working on more multi-WAN wired routers for small business. Those they're expecting to hit uh, early first quarter, like February, March. But again, you know how that goes. They are working on layer three switches as well. They're talking again, don't quote me or hold me to it because we can't hold them to it, but they're talking um, May, June. Then they're looking at coming out with more Wi-Fi 6 APs, more Wi-Fi 6 routers. And then what I was referring to before, not being SFP plus, they are working on releasing end of 2023, layer three multi-gigabit switches. So anyway, thought that was worth mentioning. I just gave you the 40 minute webinar in what? Five minutes, three to five minutes. Okay, so there you go. Some highlights from Grandstream's new Switch lineup announced December 15th, 2022 on their YouTube channel. I can't wait to get my hands on one of these switches so I can do a full stack video of all Grandstream products. And I'm super excited to what's, of what's to come from Grandstream in 2023. That said, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe like and share this video and i want to thank you as i do in every video for using my amazon affiliate links down below i know they don't change your price but they do help out the channel once again my name is tony with quick tech solutions as always please stay safe thank you for watching and we'll see you next time